Guys, you have been hearing me before saying a lot, or throwing away mass transfer operations a lot through all these lectures, and also separation processes. So probably you're wondering why are we using these in the same manner or same fashion, or is there a difference? Well, yes, let me tell you that mass transfer operation is not always a separation process, and a separation process is not always a mass transfer operation. And probably you're wondering, wow, how can this be? Well, let me explain you. So what is formally a mass transfer operation? It's any type of unit operation or process by which you will have a mass transfer phenomena occurring. Now, if you remember from your transport phenomena classes, in order to exist mass transfer uh, phenomena, you're going to have a exchange or driving force related to mass. There must be a driving force, which can be typically be measured in changing concentrations, changing partial pressure in gradients or molar fractions and so on. Common examples of a mass transfer operation is the distillation. Mixing and agitation will be a great example of what is a mass transfer operation but not a separation process. So mixing, of course, is mass transfer because you have component A and component B separated. They will eventually mix as time passes by if they are miscible. Or agitation, if you are willingly agitating your vessel right here, there is mass transfer, of course, but the problem here will be, of course, that we are doing literally the reverse as separation evaporation, gas absorption, leaching, washing, filtration, drying, and humidifying are proper mass transfer operations, which of course are also, you're talking about these guys right here and this one right here, these are also separation processes. So that's the tricky part, right guys? Whenever you have mass transfer, by definition, this is a mass transfer operation, and whenever you have a separation technique, either physical, chemical, or biochemical, you have a separation. So let's get to see more examples on this. I don't want to get, I don't want you getting confused. So let's check this out in the following lecture.